I'm Harry Adams. I'm a retired military and two branches of serve. I joined the Marine Corps in 1948. I gave the Marines nine years. I wanted to, I was in the Korean War in 1950, and the pros had chosen when the Chinese entered. I was wounded in action in action. And uh, after I was got out of the hospital, I uh, requested to go to the Marine Air Wing because I wanted to fly. Well, after nine years in the Marine Corps, they said, no way, you're a ground pounder and that's pretty much where you're going to be. And my list was coming to an end at that time. So the Air Force says, hey, come on over. we got a flying job for you. And I figured, well, you know, that's what I really wanted to do. So I went into the Air Force. I went through training. I came out as an electronic jamming engineer, jamming service air missiles and radar control AAA batteries. I got my chance to fly through my missions in 1966 over Hanoi, and I was flying the EB-66B. Here at the Air Museum, when I first joined the Wings Over Mammy Museum, and uh, after the um, hurricane we had was taken over by Wings Over Miami. And I helped uh, get this museum going. I give a lot of tours here in the museum. I have a lot of kids come through here from the schools, and I try to show them what their grandfathers or their fathers may have flown in the war. Now, aviation has progressed through the years. Prop jobs, to jets, and now we have rocket aircraft. The technology has uh, moved on pretty fast here in the military and also in the museum in the aircraft that we fly today. I'm planning on staying here with the museum as long as they will keep me. As I always like to say, once a Marine, always a Marine.